Welcome to Mr. Sir Sports. We recently hit 1,000 subscribers, so thank all you guys for that. If you want to join the family and be entered to win a MacBook Pro and experience all the NFL news that's important that you need to know, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you're notified when our videos go live. When we hit 10,000 subscribers, we're giving away a MacBook Pro, like I mentioned. So don't forget to hit, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thank you guys again and enjoy the video. The New York Giants and Dave Gettleman have not done a very good job signing free agents these past few years. And Dave Gettleman might be the worst GM the last few years when it comes to signings because of these four signings, Golden Tate, Nate Solder, who's an offensive lineman from the Patriots that they signed, Patrick Onama, and Kenny Galladay. And he signed and paid all four of those guys over $60 million in guarantees over the last few years, which begs the question of, do you think that Dave Gettleman still deserves to be the GM? And why do you think they have not moved off of him, even though he hasn't signed very many good free agents? And up until this year, like this draft class that they brought in this year seems like it has some potential, but up to this point, he hasn't really signed anyone very good the last few years and hasn't drafted very well either. Yeah, that's a good question. Maybe I don't know if it's something for loyalty or what, but Dave Gettleman's been very bad. Worth mentioning about Golden Tate, though, he did not play last season. Um, I don't know if he's retired or he's not gonna just not gonna play again this year. Yeah, but he's retired. Yeah, so 2020 was his last season, and he I think he only had 388 yards, so not good. Um, and then the other player from Detroit that they signed, Kenny Galladay. I mean, Kenny Galladay was very good in Detroit. And then everyone's like, "Wow, he's gonna come over to the Giants. He'd be great." Everyone knows the story. No touchdown receptions. I mean, that in and of itself, like Kenny Galladay, like, dude, you're, you're way too good not to score, score a touchdown in the NFL. I mean, you have way too much talent not to. So I think it's not, not only a combination of overpaying for guys, but I think it's also just not being coached very well and by Joe Judge, who's gone. And I think it's also just those guys just not being able to execute personally. So, and especially um, Galladay and Tate, I don't know how much of it is to blame from Daniel Jones not also helping them out, but we'll have to see what happens this year, especially with Daniel Jones being in the last year of his option with his rookie deal. So we'll see what comes out if they're going to stick with him or if they're going to move off him. But that that being said, I think if the Giants can move on from Gellman as GM like they did from Joe Judge's coach, I think that's the best case scenario.